think that Mid Pacific Institute is a very unique school, and what we all celebrate about it is um, a kind of learning environment where we provide a culture of thinking, of exploration. We give the children a lot of voice and choice in their own learning and therefore they become very excited about learning and lifelong learners. I think the size of the school was small enough that it gave him the individual attention that we wanted to have for our son, but also large enough to be able to provide them with the resources and the breadth of options that are available for him to be able to go into sports as well as drama and to technology or whatever he um, had a desire to go through. We know all of the children, so we get to see them from preschool up through grade five and see how they grow and develop. I know their parents, I know what they expect out of their children and that really just helps me to do my job. In Reggio Emilia, the most important concept is the idea uh, that the image of the child is held up in high esteem. Every child coming to us, we look at that child as capable, independent, uh, having the ability to make choices. So seeing the child as a positive, as a glass coming to us full and brimming, the approach is based on the notion of inquiry. Um, having a mindset and attitude that we can ask questions about the world around us. We can ask questions about things that we don't understand. When the children move into kindergarten through fifth grade, inquiry then continues in a much more structured way. And so it's a melding together of what we understand are the best thinkers and the best thinking about how we view children. I think my favorite part about Multi-Age is that I have my students for two years and I really get to see them grow from when they come to me as a third grader to when they leave as a fourth grader and there's something pretty you know, magical that happens between third and fourth grade and the kids I see that come to me in third grade, the kids I see leaving as fourth graders are totally different people. We're like the helpers to the teacher but then at the same time she's um, teaching us a lot because we don't repeat what we study, we study something different. I kind of look up to them to challenge myself. They're kind of like my role model. The Premediation Program talks about how to solve differences. And we need to have that in, in this world that is so diverse and know how to solve problems using words. I get to really hone in on what their strengths are and what their challenges are. And each year that they come back to me in the art room, I can continue to build on that. With our portfolio system, you know, we can always look back and we just continue to build. looking at the essentials of those kinds of skills that are most important for living well in life, making good decisions, thinking, being problem solvers, collaborating, those kinds of things that we all value while still learning what you need to know to get to college. We expect them to think at a, at a high level and we give them tasks that, that are appropriate to that. We use our um iPads on pages and we like type up different information that we use and we also research on our iPads. We support them and give them strategies on how to make that happen but you know we basically just believe that they're capable of, <laughs> of good important work. So I feel confident that they are, are going to thrive in a middle school environment. We'll give them the skills you know, you look at any of the academic work that we're doing, my goodness, yes, of course they'll have that. But are they good, solid persons? Do they have a sense of morals and ethics? Can they make the hard decisions? Will they be able to do that in life? That's where it makes a big difference. Okay.